Hey friends, it's another picture story time with Miss Jamie. Today we're going to be reading a book called Spectacularly Beautiful. It's by Lori Stein. I'm so sorry. The pictures are by Lori Stein. The story is by Lisa Lucas. Sorry, Lisa, if you're watching. Every day, Shahad came to school with perfect hair. It was perfectly combed and perfectly braided and the ribbons, they were perfectly tied. You can see the ribbons in her hair. One day, Mrs. Chong set up tables with paper and pencils and pots of paint. I want you to draw a memory, but not any memory. This one has to come from the place you were born. Trivian drew a shiny red bicycle. Tuyet painted a big bowl of rice. Tierney drew a bunch of kids running through tall green grass and Shahad just sat there doing nothing. Why do you think she's doing nothing? Do you think it's because she doesn't want to participate? Hmm. Shahad, Mrs. Trang smiled. I can't wait to see your picture. So Shahad quickly scribbled a pile of broken bricks and crabby looking faces. Broken bricks? Mrs. Chirong asked the children to sit on the carpet so they could share their pictures with one another. Tuyet held hers up first. Big bowl of rice. In my country, my grandma made me eat rice. There, was it, there it was every single day. A big bowl of white sticky goo. Ick! Gross! That's what she thinks, at least. Then Tierney held up his picture really high. I loved running in the grass. Round and round and round with my friends until we dropped on the ground laughing. Oh, there's Tierney running around with his friends in his picture. Trivian pointed to the bicycle in his picture. In my country, everyone rode bikes. Everyone. Just before I had to leave, my uncle gave me this brand new red bicycle. It was perfect, but I had to leave it behind. Trivian looked down, his eyes growing wet. Mrs. Trong leaned toward him. You know... There's a used bike store just around the corner from the school. I don't know if they have a red one, but maybe you and your parents could stop in and have a look someday. Look at him, he's sad because he had to leave his favorite new bicycle. I would be sad too. Sahad stood up. In my country, we have the best food in the whole world. Our hummus is my favorite. It's not as good here. Then Shahad looked around at her friends and their bright, happy drawings and pointed to her own. But these bricks that made my eye look like this. Oh, I'm sorry. She pointed at her own. But these are the bricks that made my eye look like this and my leg look like this. Then the children took their seats and Shahad quickly plopped herself down.
The bell rang and the children handed their pictures to Mrs. Trong. She stopped Shahad on the way out and told her how much she liked the braids in her hair. Shahad smiled. A little. The next morning, Mrs. Trong told Shahad how much she liked the yellow ribbons in her hair. Shahad smiled a little bit more. And just before lunch, Shahad marched up to Mrs. Trong and said, and asked her, Do you think that I'm beautiful? Mrs. Trong looked at Shahad, paused, and smiled. I think you are spectacularly beautiful. Day after day, Shahad asked the same question. And day after day, Mrs. Trong looked at Shahad, paused, and smiled, and said, I think you are spectacularly beautiful. Then, the last day of school arrived. Mrs. Trong looked a little sad. I'm going to miss you over the summer, but I will be teaching children your age in a country that has a few problems. And those children, they'll remind me of you. Days went by. The summer ended. The first day of school arrived. Mrs. Trong welcomed the new children into her class. They all had a great first day. When the bell rang at the end of the day, Mrs. Trong led the children out. On the way, she spotted Shahad. They looked at each other for a long time. Then Mrs. Trong showed Shahad her scar. It was new. That wasn't on her face last year. She asked her, Do you think I'm beautiful, Shahad? Shahad looked at Mrs. Trong, paused, and smiled. I think you are spectacularly beautiful. And then she went and played with her friends. That was a beautiful book. It says on the front that spectacular, spectacularly beautiful is a refugee story. That means that Shahad is a refugee and it's a story about her. A refugee is a person whose country is usually in war or has some kind of natural disaster or there's some other reason why a person or a family is not able to live in their house there anymore. Not only can't they live in their house, they can't live in their whole entire country. So when they need to leave and move to another country, people call them refugees because they're seeking refuge from whatever violence or destruction is happening to the country where their home is.